Well, Reds, well, 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 well. Where do we start? Where do we start? If you are new around here, I want to keep up to date on all things Liverpool. Do get involved if you are watching on the VP. Let us know your thoughts, not just on tonight's game, but the thoughts on in general in terms of Liverpool over the last couple of weeks anyway. Um, what started off with a supposed quad chasing Premier League campaign, the FA Cup, Europa League, the league, obviously the everything, every competition. We wanted to finish this season very good, but it looks like the League Cup at the end of it, obviously the Premier League still got plenty of games to go. But Liverpool this season have certainly been limping over the line at the back end of this season. It's quite frankly been not being good enough, but I think it just goes to show the the the, the tactical inability from Jürgen Klopp's side in the last couple of weeks. We'll get to, obviously, this game today as well. Big up to everyone in the live comments. Big up to everyone on the repeat as well. Um, Storm's egg Klopp tied. Uh, so are his tactics. We have absolutely nothing. As Charlie said, no legs or creativity in the middle, Jack. Need a, yeah, we need, uh, obviously, a big, big midfielder that will be aggressive and everything. Big up the Anfield Lark. Really poor second half. It's not been good enough. You're right as well. Klopp tactics, top, Klopp's tactics have been absolutely awful as well. Um, we can talk. The thing is, not just tonight as well, but um, firstly, congratulations to Atalanta as well. Absolutely exceptional over the two legs. I think the, the way they defended in the second leg was good, but we'll speak about Liverpool's inability to really enter Atalanta's half. But that that this tie was lost in the first leg. The chances from Nunes, the big chances in the first leg, and just how open we were in, in, in the overall sense, Liverpool. Um, I'm disappointed. The, the, the main thing is, uh, and 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 I'm I, I'm happy that Jürgen Klopp is leaving the back end of this, well, the end of this season, because I think he has, since he's announced what he'd done a couple of months ago and the club announced it, I just don't think the timing was right. I don't and 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 get what Klopp was saying. Uh, obviously, the, the the people around them need to make plans. But for me personally, you don't announce it midway through a season, and then it, it's very much coincided with the poor form in which we've seen in the last couple of weeks. And people might go, "Oh, we might finish second or third in the Premier League." Well done. Let's not forget Liverpool paid a, some of the, I think it's the biggest wages in Europe. We we I feel sorry for Allison. I feel sorry for Trent. I feel sorry for McAllister and Van Dyke. Players of immense quality. They just uh, like Klopp's tactics tonight again, and and it'd be great if we win the league. But let's be realistic, Liverpool fans. Let's be realistic, all of us. We will in the next couple of weeks. We'll do exactly what we've done over these two legs. And you know me, chat. I'm quite overly positive and. I try and be as positive as possibly can. And what I was wanting to come into this game with a lot of optimism uh, and a lot of, uh, but sadly the players didn't perform in the second leg as well. We got the nice early goal, a, a great, uh, a quick penalty as well. It was the feel first real opportunities where Trent got into that position. Trent started this game absolutely amazing, really like it was. He was a proper conductor. It was like a quarterback tonight. That was Trent of old in the first 15, 20 minutes. And then we just stopped doing it. Obviously, Salah, the only thing Salah done tonight was put that ball in the back of the net anyway. And other than that, pff, done absolutely nothing as well. Salah, 350 grand a week. Um, I think Salah's moving like he's moving in the summer. Um, I think Salah's body language, uh, none of us are body language experts, but we're all not stupid and naive as fan as a fan base to to analyze his performances this season and they, they haven't been good enough and people might go oh he's got 17 goals in the league and all that but let's not forget Salah's our main penalty taker everything good about Liverpool goes through Salah and again and as I spoke about last week we can't not sometimes always be relying on individual players but when you're getting big wages when you're the big figure within that dressing room, when you're wearing the shirt of Liverpool Football Club, there's an expectation. And Salah, is, he's done well over the last six years, but when we need you this season, and if he is going in the summer, you, all those players have still got a job to do. 
let's just not pack our bags. We've still got, what, six, seven, eight games, six, seven games left in the Premier League. There's still a lot of points still to grab there as well. And, and we've got to be very careful um, that we don't keep keep our head down, really. The substitutions from Jürgen Klopp were an absolute utter, utter disgrace. Um, and everyone <laughs> might be found out there going, oh, you're not a, you know, you know, you don't got your qualifications and all that, but sod it, mate. <laughs> sod it, mate. Like, it was almost as soon as we brought Trent off, like, that was just Klopp basically going, yes, sounds last 20 minutes, just sit behind the ball and not getting any injuries. So, the substitutions, they all come up, like, three of them come at the 66th minute. Jotter on, Nunes on, Elliot on. For Diaz, Salah and Dominic Sabozlai. I'd agree with the Salah one. Sabozlai, yet again, drifting in a big game. Not good enough, but it's not just... It's 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 that getting that right combination play as well. Because even, even Jürgen Klopp, tactically, and we said this last week when we got battered 3-0, tactically naive from Klopp again. And then on the 72nd minute... For some bizarre reason, Trent comes off for Joe Gomez. But the most baffling substitution come for me on the 79th minute. You'd think you'd take off Trent and put on a forward. But what does what does the Jürgen Klopp do with the Gomez? He, he takes Trent off, puts Gomez on. But then in the 79th minute, brings on Jaden Dans and then takes off a defender. So we've took off the creativity of Robbo, took off the creativity of Trent, of Saleh, of Savoslai. What are we meant to do? So Klopp, it's an absolute embarrassment for the, the, the travelling cop, those Liverpool fans, and even the fans, every Liverpool fan around the world that has got up at the early hours at, at silly times, but that's what being a supporter is. I just wish these players played with some heart. They have done for the last couple of seasons, but let's not forget, they are representing Liverpool Football Club. The expectations, the desire, we need more. And it's going to be a big summer next year because a lot of those players might not be getting fancied by the new manager coming in. I think it's coming, a change is coming at the right time, in all honesty, because some of those players, even then you, when you were on the pitch, not just tonight, but the last couple of weeks, they're just playing with their head down. They're not really listening in terms of the, the plan that they're trying to execute as well. But chat, let us know your thoughts on that, really. The, the subs were absolutely diabolical from, from Jürgen Klopp tonight. But and even if there was an extra twenty hours for Liverpool, we, we didn't look like play like scoring. We when Nunes come on, we spent twenty five minutes lumping the ball forward. Like what are we doing? We haven't got Andy Cannell up front no more. This isn't the Suarez Cannell either. It's like you spend 60, 70 million on these technical players, and we're just. I felt sorry for Nunes because what's Nunes meant to be doing? But it's just a. Uh, this season has come crumbling down. It's come cr- massively crumbling down as well. And you'll have people criticizing Nunes as well tonight. I'm not having a go at Nunes because what is Nunes meant to do? What's Nunes meant to do? Or those any of those attacking players? There was times when, and I, I've got to shout out Gakpo. I think I felt he had a very good game tonight. He tried his best. It's sadly there wasn't any other players. I think Liverpool's best chances tonight, just looking at that Gakpo, lovely little ball over the top for Salah in that first half. Salah, I'm sorry, needs to be scored in that. It's absolutely diabolical that he's absolutely dragged that ever so wide, good five, ten yards wide. It's inexcusable that he's he's not compared to that with a shot on Saga um, as well. So, and even Gakpo. And there was times... And that's what I don't get with the substitutions. So we've took off all of our creative players. So we spent the last 20, 30 minutes in that game. Jota was playing in his own half. McAllister was playing centre half as that game, the that day game was like, there was no movement. And even the players that did come on, you, you, you learn a lot in these periods as a fan, in just regards of whatever club you do support. When your team's going through a difficult, <coughs> difficult moment, 
it makes or breaks certain players and certain individual players as well. Because when, like to McAllister, when Jota was coming deep, when Gakpo was coming deep, there was no one in that central area willing to get on the ball, get their head up. Like, fair enough, if a player loses the ball and they try and play a through ball and they lose it, at least they've tried. But there was no one willing tonight and to, to really get the ball and receive it on the half turn and then drive, get him behind the Atalanta back line. But yeah, it's it's disappointing, Reds. I'm not going to go any longer for go a couple more minutes, but it's it's just pointless. And I feel sorry for those tra- the travelling cop tonight again. Spending all that money and every single Liverpool fan waking up tonight or morning, wherever you're watching, it's not good enough. And whatever happens next season with a new new manager, these players seriously need to book up their ideas. For me, there's there's certainly one or two or three players in that Liverpool team looking like they've down tools for Jurgen Klopp, and that is absolutely embarrassing. That might be acceptable at the likes of Chelsea, Manchester United and certain other clubs in Europe, but not Liverpool, and especially the levels in which this Liverpool side has reached in the last couple of seasons. But that's my concern going into the next couple of seasons, whether that level drops, because if it does, we're in for a very, very difficult time as a football club. Um, to get to everyone's comments as well, uh, let me know what your thoughts, chat, in terms of the subs and, and tactic, and just and, and going into... Obviously, the, the the next couple of weeks as well. Now, so we've got this is the first of our for the first of our f- other three. Well, we had four away games on the bounce now. So, obviously, we got an away game against Fulham, away game against the Ev, which is their Champions League final, and then we've got another tricky game away from West Ham as well. Well, let's get to everyone's comments. Salah is off with Klopp. Honestly, I don't care anymore about how now. He gets get him gone. Yeah, I'd say play. What was it, chat? Just play Jaden Dans. Thing is, when Jaden Dans come on, what's Jaden Dans meant to do with 10 minutes to go? Jaden Dans, how old is he? 18, 19, whatever he is. He come on and he was, as I was just saying then, where you want players to show for the ball. Jaden Dans was trying to link up the play. He was he was coming to the ball. He wasn't shying away or running away from the ball. Sadly, that can't be said to a couple of the senior players in this Liverpool team. And I want to know what what Joe Gomez done to Jurgen Klopp over the last couple of weeks, chat. Why have we just stopped playing Joe Gomez in this Liverpool side? He, he was one of Liverpool's most consistent players this season. And I think it's coincided with Liverpool's poor performances that we're not starting Joe Gomez. Ebu's not been doing enough. I know everyone goes, oh, Ebu's just come back from injury. Gomez offers you much more on the ball as well for me. Um, I don't get it. But no, but do we need? We we do need change. We need big changes. Storm in the summer. Yeah, it's just wasted. Storm. McAllister's not a six. McAllister is not a six. But you, 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 we're we're wasting a World Cup winner in that six role. Like even tonight, the back end of that game. I know the game was done and over and all that. But you got a player like McAllister come and drop in that deep. Like what are we doing? We are short um, and gal, and we are short on uh, guile and creativity. The players aren't the same, aren't on the same page. Nunes is looking championship just breaks up play as well. Yeah, I agree. Yanfield Lark. We haven't been the same since Edwards left um, from Panov. They're all crumbled under the pressure of trying to give Klopp a big send off, and now it seems they have to give up. Klopp hasn't helped, though, with some of his subs and tactics. Oh, the great 100% pan off. And dare I say it? And I don't know why it's such a con, con like, con, like, a difficult thing, but Sadio Mane, I love Sadio. Even when Mane was having a poor game, and people might, people might have said his form dropped off a cliff. I think it only dropped off a cliff. Because Jürgen Klopp just didn't know how to use him in that system no more. Like Sadio Mane, I know, and everyone might go, oh, he's playing poor in the Sadio League, but Sadio Mane mentality. And the thing is, Mane never let, he never, he, he always let Salah know. He always used to let Salah know if Mo didn't pass on the ball, if he didn't play in Bobby Firmino. Mane was always the one. 
that was demanding more from Sally. He was demanding more from the team as well. Um, but when you lose the players of the likes of Saudi Mane in your team, the levels are dropping. It's, we used to have one of the best left wingers in world football, and now we've got some of the worst wingers we've had in, in our history, really. It's quite frankly disappointing. Um, <laughs> Salah, <clears throat> Mane, Suarez, Torres, Firmino, Owen, Rush, Hunt, Coutinho, Fowl, etc. What happens um, to the goals we usually sign? The best forwards or already have them now. It's just dry as fingers. The red machine, the expectations, some of these players... They're not good enough for Liverpool. I'm, I'm sorry. Diaz, I need to see being more from him. I need to be seeing more from Gakpo. I need to be seeing more from all of our forwards, really. It, it comes to the point, really, where I want to be seeing Jaden Dans. I'm sorry, I want to be seeing Jaden Dans. I want to be seeing Harvey Elliott in the starting eleven. I want to be seeing Elliott given an opportunity. I swear, if I see Salah right wing against Fulham, I'm done. Yeah, like Jürgen. About time he actually showed some bottle Jürgen and started playing players on form and not just picking players for the name on the back of the shirt. Playing players. Like, what Elliot, what has Elliot got to do to get a game? Same with Gomez last couple of weeks. Why has he not been starting Gomez? You tell me, Chas. You tell me. So, it's disappointing. I'm going to round off once I've read all your comments, Shaq, because it's just pointless. Why Why should even I try and why should we try? Because those players done absolutely sod all for us tonight. Got us a goal. Way. And, right, I'm going to pause that as well. Yeah, and Klopp might be smiling, but us as fans, we wanted to give this competition a good run for its money. Um. <clears throat> Oh, crumble on the pressure. Trying to read that one. Sorry. In hindsight, I think Klopp made a massive mistake announcing. Yeah, one hundred percent is panel for the set top of the show. Should not be announcing that, mate. Midway through a season, um, the Anfield Lark uh, key players for the new team next season. Uh, some the Anfield Lark: Allison, Trent, Virgil Van Dijk, Maka, Gakpo, and Jota. Had a good day, mate. And the rest can all do one really. Like Gakpo, as we've seen again tonight, I know not everyone's the biggest fan of Gakpo, but Gakpo over the last couple of weeks, he's been trying his best. Thing is, when Gakpo's got the ball and he's turned, he's got absolutely no one round him. There's no one making a run, no one. Like, thing is, Gakpo and like the likes of Jota as well, they're, 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 they're receiving the ball on the halfway line. What what are you meant to do? Do with Luis Suarez, where like the nutmegging of our five players and bending it in the top corner. It's just not done it happen as well, but I'd agree down feel like I think Liverpool will bottom they probably will, mate. Make it make it even mate. Uh, like, none of us, no Liverpool fan. I'm big up, mate. Thank you for tuning in or anyone just find find the channel. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts anyway. But yeah, it's it's sloppy mentality. Like you've yeah, it's not good enough. Big up there, OJ. Hard luck, hard luck, sour grape. No sour grapes here, really, mate. Like Atalanta absolutely done the job over us over the two legs. Um, no plan at the second half, Andy. 100% mates. And thing is, what's the whole point of half time? I thought it was to like discuss tactics and all that, but what do we know as fans? It's can uh, he is rash and everyone will be going, Oh, Canate's come back, but even still tonight, Canate last couple of weeks, or even this season, I'm just hoping Canate is not another Joel Matip where. What is it for the next two years? Can Arthur, he's just going to be picking up injuries here and there. For me, I needed more from Canate as well. I don't think he's he's not even Virgil Van Dyke's best partner at the back. So, like dare to say, I think I've felt a bit more confident with Quonset at the back alongside Virgil Van Dyke. Might be a bit controversial, but that's my honest opinion. But yes. I need to be seeing more from Ebu, but and it was needed. Yeah, LJ, and that's the thing, chat. Like, as I said, with the substitutions at the top of the show, could you imagine if we had Trent on the pitch when we've got Jota, when you've got Gakpo, when you've got Dans, when you've got Gakpo as well? Like, tr just leave Trent on, even if he's knackered. Just get Trent to start just whipping, even if you spend 25 minutes in the game. Just give Trent, keep on whipping balls in. 
I think is, even if you are spamming the crosses, you've got about four or five attackers in the penalty area. But we spent the last half an hour in that game, as we knew, with all those subs. Just passing the ball around the back and, and, and couldn't do nothing. Yeah. And I think his pan of Robbo's, we're wasting Robbo. And I've said this with the new system. The new system with the inverted roles and that for Trent. We, Robbo's wasted. He's not a left-sided centre-half. I miss the days of Liverpool playing a, a fluid 4-3-3 where you'd have Robbo down the left getting into the penalty and you'd have Trent. Yet we might have been a bit defence, like we got got out at the back. The thing is, we if we had a world-class number six, and I mean a world-class, but they're very hard to find in Europe. I'd like us to say, and, and, and Lord, I bet you any money we go back to a 4-3-3 system with a new manager or something anyway. Yeah, he is LJ. He's, 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 he's awful weird every he plays this season, mate. And even at the back end, I know everyone points to his statistics and he's, he's all well and good. But when you think about it, Salah is our main man that we go through. It's like Kevin De Bruyne and Haaland. They are the main lads, even Phil Foden. Liverpool are set up in a system where Everton goes through Salah. And when that's not working, Liverpool are done. Um, honestly, I would rather have signed back a 30-year-old. <laughs> yes, I miss that. I miss the days of Sadio Mane, mate. Like, what a player. But we've moved on. And everyone go, we've moved on. Of course we have. But we just haven't replaced his quality in the team. But yeah, big up there, Dylan. Good to see a couple of new faces in here, chat as well. Really do appreciate it. Drop a like on the video. Massively helps out Reds as well. We're disappointed. We do plenty of shows throughout the week. And obviously uh, do live streams as well. Just general football as well. So welcome, Dylan. Thank you for getting your comments in, mate, as well. Similar with LJ and uh, Andy as well. Good to see a couple of new faces. Um, passing has been poor from Dylan. Um, no movement into the space. There's been a disconnect. Nobody knows where to expect to pass. And that's the main thing, Dylan. It's a great point you've raised there. The thing is, lads, like, that's the whole point of training and the whole week. Like You're meant to work on these like patterns of play and everything. But even at that Palace game last week as well, there was nothing. But yeah, Mano is always there for the flick-ons and positive forward movements. The thing is, even if Mano was having a bad bad, bad game as well down for lack and chat, it'd still give 110%. he would rile up the players around him as well. He'd be driving them on. But that's an elite mindset as well. Just sad that we... we, we uh, I didn't want us to lose Mane. We should have given him a contract as well. Um, there's always... I've, uh, saying, I've always preferred Mane to Salah, to be honest. There's more of a team player, but he was still banging in the goals as well. Yeah. I, I want passive and desire from our players, and some of them have not done none of that as well. Um, McGeever, uh, chatting about Liverpool on Salzburg. Big up there, mate. Big up uh, as well. Um, Salah, it's from Dylan. Um, Salah uh, can be benched for a, while, uh, for a while. There was many games he did well without him. In fact, well, without most of our star players, their return broke the momentum. Great point you've raised there, mate. Salah, can be benched or read that one, mate. Apologies, Dylan. Mike, massive thank you for getting your comments in the chat as well. Clean sheet, though, Jack. You nearly, you nearly got me there, Charlie. Chat, Charlie. Less of that, Charlie. Less of that, Charlie. Uh, Trent's passing was even off, though, Jack. Yeah, true. But even still, though, Charlie, he's, the, he's our best passer. He's our best creative player. Salah can create, but I don't think Salah can be asked this season. So, um, yeah, the speed of the play in the last 15, 20 minutes was really poor. Yeah. But uh, do you think Klopp uh, got the subs right tonight for Liverpool? Maybe no, I don't, mate. Obviously, if you're just tuning in, go back on the video as well. Um, I did mention the subs. Absolutely horrendous. Um, get him in. Uh, is, that the, is that the Egyptian lads? Red Machine? I think it might be. Uh, I think FSG need to rethink their transfer price caps. Can't pick up world class wingers for 30 million anymore. It's going to be a big, big season, chat. There's, of course, going to be. We all need to strap ourselves into next season. Because <laughs> thing is, we're going to give this manager time as well. And there'll be certainly, I think there will be, not just in the management hot seat as well in the summer, there'll be a lot of movements in the transfer window as well out of the football club. But. 
the main player I look in this team as well that we cannot afford to lose. You know who I'm going to say, Alison Becker. I feel sorry for him. He's the best goalkeeper in world football, and he's got that sh- plays in front of him, man. Like, yeah. Alison wins your titles, wins your leagues, but yeah. Yeah, uh, still take the league, uh, Dylan. Dylan, if we still play like, but starts to mid season. If we play like we have Dylan over the last couple of weeks, I think, as I said, Everton, it's their Champions League, they're vying for the big three points. Obviously, they're fighting for relegation, but it's going to be a typical Goodison performance when Liverpool rock up. They'll sit behind the ball, they'll frustrate us. That's all Everton have to do. Sean Dyche, let's get two banks of five, sit on the edge of your box, on Liverpool. And you'll get a point from Liverpool. It's so simple and easy to play against Liverpool now as well. Maybe changes. Yeah, 100%, Mace, 100%, Charlie. Aminen will win more trophies, hopefully, Machine. But chat, a massive thank you for tuning in, mate. I'm not going to dwell too much more on it because I've got, it was mainly the substitutions, really, that done me head in tonight, like probably like all of us. But chat, we go again. By Lord, we go again against Fulham as well. Another three away games on the bounce. Big games coming thick and fast. Fast, but the main thing for Liverpool is that we can't keep our heads down. We need to see an in- we need to see reaction and we need to see a performance. I wish we got that. We got that tonight, but we sadly didn't. Big, big next couple of weeks as well. Yes, Charlie, it, it's probably it's from that announcement, Charlie. As I said, top of the show, mate. Like for me, like all, like all of us. You just don't announce the manager midway through a season. Like, we're not all sports psychologists. Like, even if we're in that dressing room chat, if you're a player and you know psychologically that the manager's going in the summer, the, the, the performance levels, of course, they're, they're done a drop. They're done a drop. Like, it's ridiculous. But, Panov, a massive thank you, chat, as well. Disappointed we couldn't. Get into the semi finals, well, as I said, at the top of the show. Congratulations, Atalanta. Thoroughly <coughs> do deserve it as well. Liverpool need to book up our ideas very, very, very quickly in the Premier League because what is it? In a week or two, Liverpool could be out of the Premier League title race as well. Football moves at that quick pace, and especially when you're chasing down Manchester City as well, they don't let up. They've just been knocked out of the Champions League. So, they'll be all guns blazing for the Premier League title. Liverpool, wake, wake up. But, chat, see you tomorrow for another live stream as well. Massive thank you for everyone that did tune in for the, the watch along and anyone that's tuned in on the post match as well. If you are watching on the repeat, do drop a like us on, on the video as well. If you have enjoyed tonight's episode. And uh, let me know your thoughts, chat. And even if you have finished and you want to get more of your say as well in the comments. Just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as well. And, and you can all chat amongst each other as well. But uh, chat, have a lovely rest. Of your, well, good. Nearly, nearly the weekend chat. But uh, yeah, game. Oh, uh, games are coming thick and fast anyway. But Reds, you never walk alone. A massive thank you to all these tuning in Reds. Oh, it's going to be some end of the season as well. Try and keep positive chat. I know it's difficult, but. Keep believing, Ed, until it's mathematically impossible. Oh, I do struggle. Well, everyone, keep safe. Going into Friday, if you're going to work or whatnot, smash it. Don't listen to all your, uh, your mates that are there, like Chelsea fans or your United fans or whatnot. It's big, big prize on offer still. Liverpool need to book up our ideas. And Jürgen, give your head a wobble, lads. Try and get something sorted. But yeah, Reds, have a lovely rest of your night. A massive thank you as always, Reds. Like, share and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll be live tomorrow at quarter to eight as well. See you later. Do that.